Over the last few years I've really enjoyed my spring fishing. It's funny really because I grew up carp fishing in an era when you weren't allowed to fish for carp in spring. And spring for me was always a time when we'd walk around the lakes, we'd bait up, we'd get them going off the top, we'd find the areas they'd like, you know, and it was a brilliant um, time of the year to really get to know, you know, your carp lake that you were going to fish. And that's how we spent um, our close seasons in those days were, you know, learning about the fish, learning where they're going to go, what they like to do. Uh, nowadays, we all fish in the spring. Um, we, I don't fish in the winters like I did in the past. In, in fact, I, I suppose you could say the winter's a bit like my close season now. I like to spend more time with my family and so on. And as the spring comes, then I like to fish. Um, what I do find in the spring is as it starts to warm up, the fish will get into the shallower water. So one of the biggest edges that I've had over the last few years with my spring fishing is fishing in really, really shallow water. Um, the carp love to get there because it's gonna warm up first. You know, the deep water is gonna take a lot longer to warm up. So if you can find any little shallow corners where the sun is beating in, you guarantee the carp will be going into these sort of areas. Um, Again, with bait, I, I do still put a, quite a lot of bait in in the spring. I won't put as much in as I would do in the summer. In the summer, I'm not scared to use, you know, five or ten key. Um, where in the winter, um, only a, a hook baits and light baiting. The spring, I'll up it a bit. I'll maybe use a kilo, um, a kilo and a half, but I still do like to put bait in in the spring. Um, one of the biggest things that I do find in the spring is, you know, is the time of the day when the bites come. Um, spring bites tend to come any time during the day, even at night. Um, in the summer months, I'd say mornings are best. Where the spring, I found you can get pretty much a bite at any time. Late mornings good, even afternoons. You know, where the rest of the time of the year is pretty grim around that time, but afternoons can be really good evenings in fact any any time of the year um, any time of the day any time of the night you can get bites in the spring which makes it really exciting fishing another good part of fishing in the spring which makes it really easy is the weed growth on lakes lots of the lakes that I fish are very 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 heavily weedy uh, really weedy lakes so you get there in the spring and you're fishing the bottoms of bars uh, in gullies and so on and on tops of bars and shallow plateaus that all year are covered in weed and you can actually fish them in the spring so it's a massive advantage also you'll find in the spring the fish are really big in weight so you know a lot of these big fish that are getting caught nowadays are getting caught in the spring when they're really big you know they're still holding their winter weight they're, they're, they're preparing for spawn um, you know, and this can be, um, obviously, if you want to catch a personal best, a really big fish can be a good time of the year to catch one. What I do find, though, in the spring, it can be very patchy. The natural food can, you know, really flourish one day, and the next day it's not as bad. This I find a lot. So it can be really patchy. They can just turn on and you get a load of bites and it fishes really well, and then it can just shut off again. And I think a lot of this is to do with the hatches. Um, a lot of guys out there are using zig rigs as well in the, um, in the spring, and I know people out there who really, really, they just swear by using zig rigs in the spring. Me, myself, the lakes that I fish, you know, being for big fish, you know, lots of gravel bars and so on, a lot of the gravel pits that I fish, you know, it'd be impossible to use a zig. You just wouldn't get down to using light line, you know, you really do need heavy line. So for me, I carry on fishing on the bottom, uh, I do use a lot of pop-ups in the spring, and I feel as if bright baits are good as well. I think one of the best baits that I've used in the spring over the years has been the Nutcracker, a brilliant spring but spring bait, absolutely caught cool. so many fish, it's so bright, it's vibrant, you know, the fish the fish find it. Um, again, put put plenty in, in, you know, kilo, two kilo, get the fish looking for it. And this is what I like to do in the spring.